This Ability, Episode 2. Note, this video features live actors performing with animated backgrounds. The main character is Moore, a teenager. Her dark hair is shoulder length and parted down the middle. Moore communicates with her voice and in sign language. We also have Ake, returning from Episode 1. To screen, on a black backdrop come the words Chicago Children's Theater. We go to Moore's bedroom, where she is seated on the bed. The walls are mostly populated with pictures of different kittens. <laughs> Talk about nine lives. The cat Le Bitty Pierre from France escaped and was rescued again. This time by one of the bravest kids in all of the world, 11-year-old Moore from Chicago's north side. Today my story is at the news, okay? My mom said I could talk to you first in court. A flashing dot comes to top left of screen, indicating a video camera is recording her. I'm more, I love more ice cream, more pizza on Fridays, and more kitty cat. I'm Dash. I sign my story. I find the truth is cool. When I first see all the news about the launch orange, Happy. I'm crying, but then my friend and Kia, the wonderful, almost saved him. Cut to AK at the airport. On his cell phone, he views the French cat running atop luggage. Its paw sprint appear, then disappear. It sniffs cake near Dunkin' Donuts, then runs off. We just him. Ake is now on an elevated train, looking at his phone. Stop me. All the way up. A picture of his face travels along a map of the blue line. As a cat walks on a downtown sidewalk, sits before the Goodman Theater, sniffs a hot dog outside Wrigley Field, sits in the observation deck of the Willis Tower, rides on the Chicago River tour boat, cut to Ake in Millennium Park. Get him Animal rescue arrives. You heard him. Give the cat some space. Cut back to more. I never met him, but we touched. He likes my choice. She holds up a drawing of a dark, wide-eyed kitten. A tricolored, wide-eyed kitten. Then a tan-colored kitten. She sets the drawings down. And I draw more, more kittens. She brings up more drawings. The French cat sets them down. But then she checks her cell phone. I can't test me. The notch, the notch cat is here. Why niche? Shows it to the camera. It shows a sign saying, Rogers Park. Words say, where you live, and yes, at this ability. She puts the phone down. Our system is a chaos, superpower. I want superpower too, for what? We go to her on a magazine cover that reads, More Ability, issue number two. Her image becomes live. She raises her arms with fist clenched. We go to her now, standing before her house, whose stairs and sidewalks are covered with snow. I go to my back yard. There's kitty kitty. They'll have home. Every day they come up to me for more food, more water, and more nerves. A tricolored cat appears. It says, draw me. My kitty number one is bird. Dance trainers. His his talks mean ready to buy. A dark color cat appears. <coughs> it says, "Draw me or I'll cry." Bobby, in number two, he's real emo cat. He's going to call me. I'm trying to calm him down, but. He squashed me. Ouch! The French cat appears. Tipping. 
tune in on my screen. Same, same exactly color as the BT, but her name is Bobby. Then, finally, Bobby Princess. The most boy watch and Bobby in her place. I can hear yeah, those me teenagers. I can see them and feel them. Something isn't right. The cats run to the porch. Look at those cats over there on the porch. Cats? Psh, they all look alike. Three to people me. appear Say, in silhouette. That orange cat on the porch looks just like that French cat on the TV. Oh, let's catch it, turn it in, and get paid. <laughs> when I say go, throw the rocks. I have to save them. Poor kiddies. I'm scared, shaky, but I have to try more. Ready? Aim! Here I go. A rock is thrown towards the house. More catches and throws it down. Another is thrown. She catches it with the opposite hand, throws it down. A larger one is thrown. She catches it with both hands, spins it, throws it down. She sticks a hand out before her. In front of me, my mom does this too. When she means you don't want to go there. Hey, move out of the way, little kid. She thinks she's bad. She's not moving. Uh, what should we do? She's like ignoring us. Hey, kid. Move. We're here for that French cat, okay? We'll split the money with you. Hand over the orange one. She sticks the other hand out and holds back four rocks that are thrown, suspending them in the air. I don't know what you're saying, but you can't throw rocks at my friend. And then mom comes outside and she's mad, more mad about Uni and she yells. The people run off. The kids run off. So, do the cats... The cats run behind the house. Do the N.A. The N.A. is scary, this meanest place in the world. Oh, no! The screen goes dark. She's now back in her bedroom. Mommy made me go back inside. I'm more sad. Just then... Mm. My phone buzz. A test from okay. She takes up her phone. On its screen is a cartoon of a cat playing a violin. It says at disability. This this ability. What? Mom, Dad. Now it went. I open up the window. Put the speaker outside. First play, saw, call. The cat came back. I put my hands on the speaker. I can hear the music, but not the words without them sweetie. I can feel vibrations. I'm sad. And then, and then the kid is all back. The cats come back to front of house. She's now outside. Tough Mike, Harvey. Baby, you're home. Come to me. I want to hug you. Boy. She extends arms to them. And more. And more. Her cats arrive along with the French cat. Boy. Wait. There's another cat. From the TV. Not BT Pierre. He's hungry. Angry. No need, tired. So I give him food. She places a bowl of food before you. More water. Places a bowl of water before you. And more knives. 
She now holds the French cat in her arms, stroking him. Okay, Kenny. I see you pretty. You sure are happy now? She places him on ground as we cut to a news broadcast. How did you do it more? How did I do it? Or oh, can I hear spray cat meal, but I can feed them and touch them and feel how soft her fur is against my fingertips. I just follow my heart, feel vibration real good, and trust. And that must be my superpower. <laughs> Moore was also given a thousand whole dollars reward. She holds up an oversized check. Wow, Moore. What will you do with all that money? Well, I will give it to my neighbors for Mike, for being happy, and the rest of the money. Oh no, Chicago! Breaking news on top of breaking news! Even more breaking than yesterday's news! It appears that Le Bici Pierre has escaped again! Oh, this cat is a trip! Again? Oh no! Poor Kinis. Take the rest of the money to save La Bici Pierre. Save him! And that's the news, folks. We'll keep you posted, Chicago. We return to her bedroom where she is spinning around. As she continues spinning, her arms rise with clenched fists while her clothes change to a shiny leather-like outfit with the letter O on the front. She stops, crosses, uncrosses her elbows, opens arms and hands, swaying side to side, grabs invisible objects from air, crushes it with both hands, releases it, brings right hand to side of head, extends left arm out. Her image freezes and the background changes to a wall of small to large dots. The word accessibility comes to the bottom of screen. The screen comes a young lady playing a keyboard. Words say, stay tuned for Holly Connor as fate. The credits roll. Chicago Children's Theater presents This Ability, starring Kayla Cassiano as Moore. Story by Daniel Carlton, written by Daniel Carlton and Nambi E. Kelly. Directed and assistant directed by Daniel Carlton and Nambi E. Kelly. Designed and edited by Leo Lee. Artwork by Rachel Peterkin. Composed and sound designed by Andy Slater. Director of photography, Jeff Pascal. Costumes designed by Sky Cover Cup and Rebirth Garments. Props designed by Lon A. Hickman. ASL interpreter, Patty Shaw Caden. Autism consultant, Charlotte Chuck Rubin. Blind and Low Vision consultant, Elijah Eiler. Production coordinator, Anastar Alvarez. Produced by Jacqueline Russell and Will Bishop. Cast, Kayla Cassiano, Holly Connor, and Kevin Smith. Voiceovers by Time Brickley, Lee Emerson, and Alexander. Sandro B.T. Kelly. Special thanks to the Rala Klepek Foundation for Education in the Arts. Available online at www.childrenstheater.org. Dedicated to all children and their abilities.